Big Daddy here with a video on installing one of the best app launchers available on Cinnamon, the CineXP Stark menu. So this menu here, as I talked about in the previous video, is not for me. Okay, it has everything you need, and if you're used to it, that's great. Um, it's it's an okay. It, it's a, for functionality. It's okay. Uh, but for me, my taste, it's not okay. All right, so I'm going to right click and hit remove this applet. All right, because that's not the applet that I want to use. All right, so if you open your web browser and you go and you don't have to do, actually do this because I'm going to uh, post the um, link in the video description. So if you type in this guy's name, guy's a genius, uh, and you go to the GitHub page, and these are the things he's working on. Uh, but this CineXP Stark menu is right here, and this is where you want to be. So I will post a link right to here so that you don't have to worry about searching it. All right, so what we want to do is we want to download this because this is not an app applet that you can install from the applet. So if you go in here and right click on the panel and you hit add applets to panel, um, you can look in here and available applets, but like I did before with the menu, you won't find this menu. Okay, and it would be great if we could somehow uh, get it into here so we could use it. I mean, so somebody could install it easier. And I'm not sure, I've never talked to uh, Nico to see uh, why it's not in the the main applet thing maybe there's a reason why it's not there I'm not sure but either way um, there's easy instructions in the readme to install it but I'm going to show you how all right so if you go to your downloads folder and you right click on it you're going to hit extract here all right that's going to bring this folder here all right so the first instruction is to extract it the second is to rename it so in order for the applet to work uh, based in the code, it, the folder for it to be found needs to have the right name. So you rename it to that. All right, I just copied and pasted the name. All right. So then all you're going to do is you're going to move it into the, this location, local share or dot local share cinnamon applets. So if you go to home, and you don't see no dot local folder because the hidden files are not shown so you go to view and show hidden files or you can hit control h it doesn't matter uh, so now you can see the dot local folder so you go in here share cinnamon applets and you paste in or drag in or however get that folder in there okay there it's installed all right so quickly just download it extract it rename it move it in now that it's installed now when you go to add applets to the panel you see it here all right so you hit add the panel and it comes up and most all applets that come that you add will come right here that's just the way I guess cinnamon has it by default so in order to move it you right click on the panel and you hit panel edit mode which as you see changes the color of the panel now just be careful because some themes if you change the theme some themes don't recognize or don't show you that you're actually in edit mode so if you have changed your theme to let's say a dark theme or something and the theme maker didn't allow for the edit mode uh, you, this will stay the same color as your regular panel and you might not even know that you're in the edit mode but when you're in the edit mode you can drag and drop the menu where you want it to be just make sure when you're done you right click and hit panel edit mode and turn it off otherwise you can't click on nothing nothing works and that's why I said if you're on a theme that doesn't respect that then you might drag and drop this and you're trying to click everywhere and you can't click nowhere because you're in edit mode so this is the CineXP Stark menu so um, it is very customizable, but the basic layout is pretty much everything that you need and in a good way. Now, it 
is a a mimic of the Windows 7 menu. And if you don't like that and that's not for you, that's great. But this is the menu that I love. Um, so if you right click on it and you hit configure, it has all kinds of menu options. So the first one you come to is the layout. So this is the Slark menu part of it. And then you have the Mate menu where it flips it over to the other side and your folders are here and your search and your programs your favorites on the right. So that's up to you. Depends on what you want it to look like. All right. But I'm just going to stick with the Slark menu for now. All right. Um, you can change the keyboard shortcuts to open it up. You can use a custom icon. So if you click this and you can show it whatever icon you want it. You can click this and uh, add an icon to it. But I'm going to leave it on the symbolic one for right now. You can change the text, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to type in apps. That's what I like it to see. All right, you can show bookmarks in places. Um, or you can uncheck it. All right. Um, many options here for the hover and everything else. You can show category icons or application icons or, or uncheck them. So it's only text. But for me, it looks good this way. The one thing I am going to do is the size of the favorite button icons. So one thing you can't do with this is you can't resize these icons. So with that, this kind of looks out of place a little bit to me where it, these are this big and these are this small. So I'm just going to lower these a little bit to 25 to make it flow better with this. I think it looks a little bit better, smaller. And I'm usually a big icon guy, but sometimes it just doesn't look right. So there you go. You can un you can remove the username. If you're not a Windows fan, you can remove the all programs text and put it whatever text you want there. Uh, the favorite uh, text as well for here, and the the quit text. All right. Um, you can put leave there if you want to, or whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so the you can uncheck any of these menus, any of the portion of these menus, the quit menu, uh, the quick link sidebar. Um, you can uncheck them if you don't want them there. I want them there, so I'm going to leave them there. But you can also change it so that it's instead of vertical, it's horizontal. So when you go in here, you have this. So that's up to you. Uh, you can also do a drop down menu, which you have one button and it drops down to it. I don't know which one I like best. I mean, I guess I'm gonna, I guess it depends on how many favorites you have. Because if you have a lot of favorites, you probably wanna go with the vertical so that uh, it's not disproportionate. If you have only a few favorites, I think the horizontal looks pretty good. I think the horizontal looks actually really good. Okay, so um, you can change it to just icons or labels only where it's just text for the quick links and you can remove any of these links individually like say you didn't so okay you got help but say you didn't need the help so you want to get rid of it so you uncheck it and it's gone no more help it's not needed and you can also add your own uh, links in as long as you know what um, command to put in for that specific thing. So I'm not going to go into details of which command to put in, but because uh, I don't know all the commands, but it's just a very customizable menu, uh, a menu that is, like I said, I'm going to come right out and say it's the best menu for Cinnamon right now. So unless somebody has a better menu, which I would be glad to see, this is, this is the best. Um, I will say that uh, the last thing I'll say about this is there used to be a menu. So if you come to available applets and you go here and you type in menu, uh, the configurable menu was the one I used to use. Um, and if you click more info, you can see more info. And this is where you can look to see how, how it's been updated. You know, some of these comments are six, nine months ago. Um, and so long story short, this screenshot shows you why you would have used this menu. I mean, you could mimic the whisker menu, Windows 7 Classic. Um, all, look at all the menus that you can mimic with this. You could be a full screen. You could drag this 
to be whatever size you wanted it to be. And there were tons of options, tons of customization going on with it. Unfortunately, it's not under development anymore and it doesn't work. So you got to run with something else. And then uh, Stark Menu was kind of what this was. And it also went by the wayside and was left alone. And, and once Cinnamon started updating more and more, it went, you know, it started to crash everything. It wasn't looking right. Um, and then Nico forked Stark to make this, which is beautiful. So there you go. I will put a link in the description for it and hopefully you have no problems. If you have any problems installing it, just let me know and uh, we'll work them out. So until the next video, Big Daddy out.